Welcome to today's lecture. So this is lecture 8 and uh, quadratic equations. And to be specific, today we're looking at uh, roots of quadratic equations. So this is a topic we're supposed to cover that day I wasn't feeling well. But um, I decided just to make a video instead of just missing the lecture like that. Yeah, so let's quickly uh, get into business. Yeah, so roots of quadratic equations. So the first thing that we need to understand about these roots is that uh, these are just solutions that you always get after solving the quadratic equation. So every time you solve a quadratic equation, you always have um, answers, two answers. And these two answers are the ones that we normally call the roots. So these are always in the form x is equal to alpha and another x is equal to beta. So when we do the back uh, factorization of this um, quadratic equation, the opposite of factorizing the quadratic equation, we're going to have something like this. So this alpha will go this other side. So we're going to have x minus alpha is equal to 0. Even this beta will do the same. So the beta will also do the same. And then from there, we can combine the two. We can multiply the two functions. Yeah, because we know that 0 is equal to 0. Remember what we learned on the equalities of equations. When A is equal to B, and then the same A is equal to C, it means that, uh, it, it means that B is equal to uh, C as well. Hence, if X minus, zero is equal to zero, uh, X minus alpha is equal to 0, and X minus beta is also equal to 0, it means that, um, it means that um, this is equal to uh, that, in short. So meaning you can easily multiply these two. So we're going to have x, mi x minus alpha multiplied by x minus beta. Then this is equal to 0. They are all equal to zeros. So the other thing that we need to do now is to expand this expression. So when you expand this expression, we're going to have x multiplying with everything there, which is x minus beta. Then we have negative alpha multiplying with x minus beta as well. So this is equal to 0. So x times x, you get x squared. x times beta, you get negative beta x. Negative alpha times x, you get negative alpha x. Negative alpha times negative beta, you get positive alpha beta. Then you get a 0 there. So from there, we can now factorize the middle part there. So you have x squared. And then the common factor there that we have is a negative. And... Um, we have a negative outside there. Inside, we're going to have alpha plus beta. Then we have also x. X is also uh, common. So I say plus alpha beta is equal to zero. So um, we've seen that this uh, expression doesn't have a coefficient. The coefficient is simply just one. So let's write the formula for the, uh, the general formula of a quadratic equation. This one is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. So we know that the coefficient of x squared is one. So let us also make sure that the coefficient of x squared is also one. What do we do? We divide by a everything. So we're going to remain with x squared plus b over a plus c over a is equal to zero. So from there, oh, I've forgotten to write x there. So from there, we can compare this equation and that equation. Meaning 1 is equal to 1. And then this negative alpha plus beta is equal to b over a. So negative alpha plus beta in brackets is equal to this part there, which is just b over a. And then this c over a... Um, Oh, let me just finish this. We can divide everything by negative. We remain with alpha plus beta is equal to negative b over a. And then this alpha times beta is equivalent to c over a. So we say alpha times beta is equivalent or is equal to uh, c over a. So these are the most uh, these are the, the two most important equations that we're going to be using in this uh, lesson. So we have to master them. We have to know that the uh, product of two roots, because we know that alpha and beta were uh, initially the, the roots of uh, this quadratic equation. So um, what, I'm, what I mean is that uh, the multiplication of two roots of any given quadratic equation is just equivalent to C over A. And then the sum of 
uh, two uh, quadratic, uh, rather two roots of any given quadratic equation is simply just negative b over a. So let's quickly uh, move on to the next uh, slide. So this is one of the most important, uh, rather th these are the most important uh, equations that we're going to use in this uh, lesson. So I was just deriving this and these, um, when you get this and that, you compare them, you come up with uh, two important equations that I derived. So now, the first question here on the examples is write down the sum and product of the roots of this quadratic equation. So remember, we have first, we need first to identify which one is our a, b, and which one is our c. So a is always the coefficient of x squared. So the value of a is um, 5. The value of b is 11. The value of c is uh, equal to 3. So now, to find the sum, we know that alpha plus beta, according to the expression that we found, is simply just equal to negative b over a. So the sum is simply just, the sum of these roots of this equation will simply just be equal to negative b. This will simply just be 11. So we're going to have negative 11 over a is 5. So this is the sum of the roots of this quadratic equation. Let us quickly find the product. So the product, which is just alpha times beta, is given by c over a. So c over a, our value of c is 3. So alpha times beta is simply just 3 over a is simply just 5. So this is how you find the product of uh, the two roots of any given quadratic equation. Let us quickly move on to the next question. Okay, so these are the solutions. And then there's also this uh, a bit uh, challenging question, which is also straightforward. So the roots of the equation, this one, are alpha and beta. Find the values of 1 plus, well, 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta. So this one is straightforward as well. So 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta. So this one can also be found, or rather, we can write this as, let me just do this. Let me be going down. So we find the common denominator. The common denominator will simply just be alpha times beta. So alpha into alpha beta, it's beta. Beta times 1, the answer is beta plus. Beta into alpha beta is alpha. Alpha times 1, this will simply just be alpha, which can be rearranged as alpha plus beta over alpha beta. So now let us find the solution for this part. We know that uh, on top there we have the sum of two roots of this equation. And then down there we have the product. Hence, what we're going to do is, let me just write it here. Alpha plus beta over alpha beta. So let us find the value of alpha plus beta, which is just the sum of two roots. So this one is given by negative b over a. So our b is simply just 4, so we're going to have negative 4 over a is simply just 1. The coefficient of x squared there is simply just 1. So this will give us negative 4. Then let us also find the, uh, the product. The product is simply just alpha beta, which is given by uh, c over a. So this is also gotten from the same equation. Our c is negative 5, so we put negative 5 there. Then our value of a is simply just 1. So our alpha times beta is just negative 5. Then this is alpha plus beta. So what is alpha plus beta, we're going to put, put negative 4. And then what is alpha uh, times beta, we'll put negative 5. So when you simplify this, the answer will simply just be, rather, it's going to be 4 over 5. So it is just as simple as drinking water. You don't have to stress when solving such. These are straightforward things. All right, so let's quickly move on to part B, the second one. This one. Okay, so this one, when you look at it, we have alpha squared plus beta squared. 
So the only way we can find this expression or where we can find this expression is when we have two um, uh, functions multiplying themselves, uh, two same functions multiplying themselves. Of course, this, these two functions should involve alpha and beta. Hence, you have something like this, alpha plus beta squared. So when we find the expression for this, this is where we're going to find alpha squared plus beta squared. So this is just, or rather, this can be written as alpha plus beta times alpha plus beta. And then from there, we can multiply everything this side uh, with uh, the things in the second uh, set of brackets. So we have alpha times alpha plus beta, and then plus beta times alpha plus beta. So alpha times alpha, this will give you alpha squared. Beta times alpha, this is alpha beta. Then beta times alpha, this is alpha beta. Then beta times beta, this is beta squared. So from there, we can now pair this one and this one. So we'll have alpha squared plus beta squared. Then we have plus this plus that, this will give us 2 alpha beta. So we have, this side we have alpha plus beta squared. So when you take this part to the other side of the equal sign, when you take it this side, we're going to have, let me just demarcate. So we're going to have something like alpha plus beta squared minus 2 alpha beta is equal to alpha squared plus beta squared. Hence alpha squared plus beta squared will simply just be given by alpha plus beta squared minus 2 alpha beta. So if you want, you can master this expression or if you want, you can uh, learn how to derive it, which is even better. So we can now find the sum, which is just alpha plus beta and the product, which is alpha beta. So the sum, which is alpha plus beta, is given by negative b over a. So negative b is simply just negative, uh, rather, yeah, it will be just negative 4 over 1, which will just give us 4. And then the product, which is alpha beta, will simply just be C over A, which is just uh, negative 5 over 1, which is negative 5. Okay, so we replace them there. So we're going to have alpha plus beta, alpha squared plus beta squared being equal to, while well, there's alpha plus beta, we put negative 4. So there's a negative there. Put negative 4, and then they have a squared there. And then we have minus 2. Alpha times beta, we put negative 5. Simplify this, we have 16 plus 10, which is just equal to 26 as the answer. Yeah, so this is how you simplify such questions. They are simple and straightforward. You don't need to take even a lot of time solving such. Let us quickly move on to the next example. So the next example is uh, uh, this one. The roots, uh, the roots of the equation, this one, is equal to zero are alpha and beta. Find the equation whose roots are alpha over beta and um, al beta over alpha. So if these are the roots, if these are the roots, and then, I mean, if these are the roots, a alpha and beta are the roots of this equation. Um, they are asking us to find the equation whose roots are alpha over beta and beta over alpha. So. The first thing that you need to find every time you have such a, such a question or every time you're dealing with quadratic roots or roots of quadratic equations in terms of alpha and beta. If you don't know how to solve that question, the first step that you should always write at least to, to earn some marks, you first find the product and the sum. So we have the sum of the roots is simply negative b over a and then the product of roots is simply just c over a. So uh, this one we're going to have alpha plus beta simply just going to be negative b which is negative 5. So we're going to have negative, our b is negative 5 over our a is 3. And then this side 
alpha times beta will just be c c is simply just one over our a is simply just three so simplify this one alpha plus beta is simply just five over three then alpha times uh, beta simply just one over three so from there they find the equation whose roots are alpha over beta and beta over alpha so this implies that we can do the back factorization of a quadratic equation if you want oh yeah i think that's the best way yeah so which is uh we're going to get this one as our first root we're going to say x let x be equal to alpha over beta and then another x be equal to um another x be equal to um, this will be beta over alpha or if you know that general formula where is you just say uh, x squared minus alpha plus beta x and then here there's supposed to be a plus and then alpha times beta is equal to zero so you just put the product there you put the sum there the sum of these two roots so you find the sum of these two roots you put them there and then the product you put it there that's the simplest actually yeah but if you want you can follow uh my formula here let's do my formula and then we'll also come and use this one at the end okay so we are going to have this will cross the equal sign this will come this side even this will come this side hence we're going to have x minus alpha over beta is equal to zero and then this one will come this side x minus uh, beta over alpha is equal to zero so from there the other thing that you need to know is that the other thing that you need to put in mind is that we have to multiply these two so we're going to have x minus alpha over beta times x minus uh, beta over alpha is equal to zero all right so from there we can now multiply this x times x um this will give us x squared then x times negative alpha over beta this will be negative uh, oh x times beta over alpha negative beta over alpha x then we have this times that we have negative uh, this is x it's not alpha so this times that this would be negative alpha over beta x and then this times that this will just give us one to just give us positive one is equal to zero so our x squared will therefore be equal to negative uh, x is common in brackets we're going to have beta over alpha plus alpha over beta then from there we have plus one is equal to zero so this part when you simplify it you are going to get x squared minus x there so when you simplify this part you are going to have alpha squared plus beta squared everything divided by alpha beta when you find the common denominator, denominator and then you do everything then plus one is equal to zero so here's just a matter of replacing alpha squared plus beta squared and then alpha times beta alpha times beta we found it to be one over three so you can just put it there and then while there's alpha squared plus beta squared remember what we found we said alpha squared plus beta squared is simply just equal to alpha plus beta uh, squared minus two alpha beta so you just replace this alpha plus beta you put it there and then you also replace this part you put it there and then after doing the replacements the answer that you are going to find you come and write it on top there then that's the equation they wanted you to find so let us use this simple method which is just here this simple method so we found that alpha plus beta was simply just equal to negative 5 over 3 uh, it was positive 5 over 3 and then we've also found that alpha times beta was equal to 1 over 3 
So from there, using that simple method, we know that the equation is always supposed to be x squared minus our, uh, not really alpha plus beta, but the sum of the roots. So we say minus sum of the roots times x, then plus the product of the roots times x. So the product, so let me just write the product, the product of the roots times, I mean, rather, it's just supposed to be the product is equal to zero. So this is the equation. This is the format of the equation they want you to find. So let us find the sum of these two roots. We have the first root as this one, the second root as that one. So the sum of these two roots is simply just alpha plus beta, oh sorry, this is alpha. The first root we have is alpha over beta. Then the second root that we have is beta over alpha. So the sum of these two roots will simply just give us, um, the sum of these two roots will simply just give us, we find the common denominator which is alpha beta. So alpha times beta, we have as a common denominator. So alpha, beta into alpha, alpha beta uh, to give us alpha. Alpha times alpha there, this will be alpha squared. Then plus alpha into that is beta. Beta times beta is beta squared. So if this is what you have, and then on top there, remember, the formula for the top part there is, sim is simply just equal to alpha plus beta squared minus 2 alpha beta. Then the denominator is given by 1 over 3. 1 over 3. So we can simplify this. Well, this alpha plus beta, we put 5 over 3. So we say 5 over 3. Then this is squared. There's that squared there. Then minus 2. Well, this alpha beta, we put 1 over 3. Then everything divided by 1 over 3. So when we divide everything by th by 1 over 3, it's just, the same as it's just the same as multiplying the numerator by 3. But let me just do this for the sake of understanding. Then this is equal to, uh, so this one will give us 25 over uh, 9. Then this one will give us minus 2 over 3, which can be written as 4 over 9 as well. Is it 4 over 9? No, not really. 6 over 9. It can also be written as 6 over 9. If you want to do the mathematics easy. Okay, so if you want to make it easy. Alright, so when we divide by 1 over 3, this is just the same as that. And then, so when you simplify the numerator there, we'll get, um, this is, um, I said this is just the same as 6 over 3. The reason I'm saying it's just the same as, oh, 6 over 9, sorry. So to make this easier, you make this, the denominator the same. So how can you make the denominator the same? You multiply the denominator by 3 this side so that you get 9. So we're going to have 3 times 3, the answer is 9. So this is how I'm doing the simple way of solving fractions. So 25 over 9 plus 3 times 3, the answer will be 9. Of course, since we, if we multiply the denominator by 3, even the numerator will multiply it by 3, which is going to be 3 times 2, which is 6. So 25 plus 6, the answer is 31 over 9. So 31 over 9. And then 31 over 9 is the numerator there. 31 over 9 divided by 1 over 3. Which is just the same as uh, multiplying the numerator by uh, 3. Yeah, so 31 over 9. This is just the same as 3 over 1 when we do the division there, which is 3 there, 1, 3 into 9, 3. Hence, the sum of these two roots is just going to give us uh, 31 over 3. So the sum is giving us 31 over 3. Let's find the product. So the product of um, um, y alpha over beta times beta over alpha will simply just give us this and that cancels that and that cancels it's 1. So, we're going to put the sum there and the product there. So, the equation will therefore be equal to, the equation that we need is therefore going to be equal to x squared minus, the sum is, uh, the sum is that 1 over 3x, then the product is simply just a uh, positive 1. Then this is equal to 0. So, this is the equation they wanted. Or if you want, you can multiply everything by 3. When you multiply everything by 3, you are going to have 3x squared minus 31x 
and then plus 3 as the equation. Alright, so this is the equation they wanted. It's just as simple as this. So you can either use the first formula that I showed you or this one which I've just showed you now. Alright, thank you very much for watching today's uh, lecture. See you in the next lecture that we're having in the evening. Shalom, shalom.